Good afternoon. I'm going to tie a quick fly. I'm going to tie a bead headed zebra midge. So this is <clears throat> going to be a Timco 2457 size 18. It's a very small one, as you can see based on my finger size, how small the hook is. And then I'm using Cyclops bead. And it's very small, as you can see. So the difficult part is getting it started. I'm holding the hook in a hackle plier, and I've got the bead here in my finger. And As I said, it's very difficult to start with such a small hook. And I'd rather not drop it and have to find it in the carpet. There we go. Okay. So these beads have a small hole size, and then the other side is kind of concaved open so that the string can go up into it a little bit. Now that I've got that, I'll put it in the vise. Once you get that done, it's a pretty quick and easy fly. Zoom in a little bit more. Tiny little thing. I'm using black it's very big black uh, eight odd thread unit thread and so once you start once you have the bead in place you just start just like you normally do with a hook with a fly and put a base layer down to go down the bend a little bit so I know this looks very small, but you can catch all sizes of, or many sizes of trout on this small bug. Um, it represents <clears throat> a mayfly. Uh, and when you catch a trout, say in Tennessee or up here, in, apparently up here in Northern California, um, they are full of these bugs. Go ahead and build this up. You just go back and forth, wrapping around until you build up the body. These things basically look like mosquito larvae. If you're from Texas or from the south or from somewhere that there's a lot of mosquitoes, uh, you will know if you look in the water when it's been sitting for a while that there will be mosquito larvae swimming around in it. Very small, very faint, but you can see them. And that's about what these things are. And the mayflies that come out of these are, oddly enough, about the size of a mosquito. They just don't bite. And when you're in a hatch of them, it's very odd because they're crawling all over you. And if you are, again, from Texas or from the south or from anywhere that has mosquitoes, you will know that when these flying bugs are climbing all over you, you expect to be bitten. Okay, so I have a bead. I have the black thread coating it, and I've built up the shape of the body, tapering up to the head of the fly. And I've laid down my wire, and I can't find it, so let me grab another piece of wire. I've got most people will use the same color wire as their bead. Um, I just use what I have, either copper or this is 
kind of like silver colored and it came out of, I guess it's like stainless. It came out of a, some kind of electrical wire and I just salvaged the wire out of it. So just tie it in. Hello. Make sure I cover all the metal that's showing. I'll taper this up a little bit better. And now I'm just going to wrap this. Evenly spaced. And you'll see that they're kind of like segmented when you find them in the water. And that's what this wrapping kind of emulates. Pull on a sign. Okay. And you just tie on the wire. And you take it and twist it around until it breaks off. And then wrap it a few more times to build it up to the size of the bead. Like that. A little bit of half hitch. Just one is all I need on this one. Get my tie off. And the way that I do this. Okay, so just to show how I do this, I like to explain this every time I do a video. I've gone under the head one time, over my finger, and then under the head, whoop, oh, I get to show you now, because I just fucked it. So, I'm there, I'll put my finger here, I'm going to go over one time, under the head, over another time, but to the inside, towards my hand of my finger, and I'm going to hold it with the other finger so it doesn't fall off, and then I'm going to snip that, I'm going to take my other finger, I'm going to go in through the loop, grab the other string and pull it through the loop, I pulled it out, put it back where it was, go through the loop again, grab the thread again, pull it through the loop, I'm going to hang on to that. I'm going to take my scissors or another sharp item. I'm going to grab the thread off my finger. And then I'll lower it into place carefully. Right there. Make sure that is tight. Snip it. And then I'll come back with fingernail polish or whatever kind of glue you like to use and coat it with that and I just coat the whole darn thing makes it a little bit shiny make sure that I know that it's uh, covered and there's the finished fly so you can tie this onto a dropper let's say you have a Chernobyl ant like this you can tie this on this will float and then you can have a another line from this hook to this hook and have it hanging down as far down as you need it to be to get down to the fish so you can do it like that so there's the completed fly I hope you enjoyed it try it out it's easy